Two years ago today, I tried mid journey for the first time. And personally, I was pretty impressed. Now at that time, did I say this is gonna be a world where you can use this tool for a sense of creating this really cool logo? I opted to say no, but I can definitely support it. But I'm just curious, two years later, is it better? I'm actually gonna also use chat GPT in this sort of like video, just to kind of see if I can get a clear, thoughtful prompt. Cause last time I think I was just, just throwing in the entire brief. But I'd be so curious if you are a first time individual with the world of AI, can you actually develop a logo using AI? That's my question for today. And let's just, let's just try. Do not forget to check out the Everything Pack. If you guys do not know what it is, all 28 of my custom made products that you get on that one purchase, plus all future products free. I think what I'm actually gonna go ahead and do is use a Design Royale brief instead of just using a generator just right now to compare what other designers did in like a super high, you know, like that's their, that's their field, you know what I mean? So rather than just comparing if it just looks good generally, I'm just curious on the objective or if the objective was solved with my brief. So here's my brief, right? Lift and Leash. And the TLDR of this brand itself is more or less a gym that allows dogs. So it's like a doggy daycare ex gym universe. So with this, I wanna ask ChatGPT to give me sort of like a more clear objective of what it could be and then use whatever they say as something I actually use for the prompt for mid journey this time. So here's what I wrote. I wrote, I need a clear message that aligns with the brief below that uses descriptive ideas, examples to create a prompt for mid journey to deliver a thought starting final or general direction logo design for the brief I attached. I have no idea this is gonna work by the way. Okay, I, I think I got this wrong. I said descriptive, so maybe just this is not it. I'm gonna say rather than being descriptive, give me a prompt that helps create a picture iconography that aligns with the brief above. Think a brief for a logo mark or logo type instead. I even, I, what? So let's just see what happens if I actually use this as the prompt, because I'm pretty sure that's not how mid journey works, because it has to be a little bit specific from my understanding. So may, am I just wrong? Let's just see. Let's go ahead and do the usual slash imagine, throw in the prompt, press enter, and let's just see what pops up. Uh, so I'm just processing. Like I really, I never use AI in my in my workflow, right? But the immediate thing I can say is this bottom left one, the line work is it honestly scarily clean. And I also did not know, I'm pretty sure last time I used Mid Journey like two years ago for this video, I gave them descriptive like long winded prompts and it just, just didn't translate. But it's actually pretty cool that you can put a descriptive in there and it still gets it. I, I didn't know that part. I genuinely did not know, I'm like dead serious. So this is kind of cool. Honestly, I do versions of three and four because my opinion, even four has a pretty decent look. It's very straightforward, right? You got a dog and a dumbbell. But you no, know, the brand is Lift and Leash. If you just throw a little Lift and Leash logo or iconography down there, excuse me, uh, typography down there, you're looking pretty good. And for the more examples that I got from this, I mean, again, th this was looking a little like cute, which I don't know if it looks like really aggressive for like the tone of what I think a gym should be. Like maybe it should be like a bulldog per se. I mean, it's not bad, right? I, I think the tone that I want to say, it's not bad because on one end, it, it does feel generic in the sense if I were to Google, like, I don't know, logo design or mascot logo design or, you know, something of that sort, I feel like I would get something like this. But then again, obviously these images are sourcing from some sort of, you know, catalog of photos. So maybe that's why. So, right, if the objective is you have a picture and you're just someone very so, you know, fresh starting off, you use image trace, you know, do your three colors, right? And if I take this object, expand, press OK, I'll just go ahead and delete the inside here. I'll make his eyes white in this case, right, too. I would obviously probably need to keep some of the black in some way but even then if i don't have to but like i can this is an instant vector and i mean it works if i sort of needed a start to a logo and if i just all i had to do is kind of change some colors around and make it look just a little bit better or a little bit of this a little bit of that i mean for the most part i do not think i am personally gonna sit here right and complain if i had to rock with something like this you know i don't think i would be mad at this for five minutes of work if i throw this in the mix with all the other people's designs they've done in the past for logo royale i think comparatively there is a bit of a justification of maybe you know this being a better visual look but if it's so you know is it solving a problem or differentiate yourself from the branding or differentiate yourself from other brands and lining closely with like your narrative and your and your art direction per se right i, I did throw in some some playful typography with bold typography to kind of maybe start i you know identifying what this brand identity is but then on one end that's just like a good knowledge of fonts and typography you can also just you know follow my twitter to find cool typography or fontshelf.com self plugs all the way i'm gonna be super candid i don't think i'm trying to, trying to justify 
if this is a direction and or a good thing because i think i can i can name 10 instantly logo designers who would like sort of kill this branding identity and kill the electrical logo and set the actual company up for major success in terms of differentiating themselves from the branding of other people's branding and, and just alignment all that good stuff right but that on one narrative is just if you if you care for it which i think you know you should watch that's why there's value in the world of creativity but for someone who just doesn't have the, the budget right or doesn't want to spend even like 200 300 bucks on a logo i think that yikes it's a it's a viable option you know let's let's try again though let's try again okay so this time let's do something with a brand called the roaming chef so the tldr of this branding is that the roaming chef is a new and innovative food truck company that specializes in bringing gourmet cuisine to people on the go. So let's just see if I say, let's do the same exact thing and hopefully get a mid journey prompt that works for this. Like if you're not a creative person for the record, I think chat GPT, I, I, I use it like goop. Okay. If there's one thing I love it's chat GPT, but I mean a cool, it's such a simple thought, but like a chef's hat on wheels or cooking utensils integrated with a food truck, simple, right? I'm just curious how mid is going to actually take this. And I wonder if it, if it got lucky since so I said dogs, let's just see. And I'll also just pop up now the design real people did for this brief, just so you can guys get a better idea. Okay. Okay, so what ended up popping up that this that's kind of cool yeah it, de it definitely got better i can't argue the fact that the juxtaposition from like the last videos line work i don't know if you guys remember like this ram logo for instance i mean the juxtaposition of just kind of how like sloppy the just non-existing continuity on that logo and then the sort of idea that you push over with this roaming chef logo the line work like the chef hat the placement it doesn't feel awkward like that's 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 pretty interesting and it's so interesting that the fact that it, it sort of skips this this level of beginner and immediately lets you at least have that like you know idea and that look and i i think that's that's strong i can't say it's not i just can't where i would be worried in the question of can ai replace creatives i think it'll only do it in one category and where that category is if i were to just have a graph up right left side beginners all in the right side being the experts and then right in the middle being intermediate I think where I would end up placing AI, I'm more or less placing it, in my opinion, right, but not in the middle of beginner intermediate, maybe a little more closer to intermediate. I think it's going to stay there for the majority of its existence. Graphic designers are absolutely services to business, right? And in my opinion, what separates a beginner designer from an intermediate designer is the sort of detail of again, objective problem and actually solving that problem. That's where I think the translation gets lost between a beginner and an uh, intermediate person. So all they might have a good look of a logo, can they surround that with branding? Or although they have good looks with a logo, can they at least expand it into an identity that moves further than just like like this for instance this chef hat you know roaming truck concept and like having the thought process maybe like put the chef hat on top of like rc logo or something like that right and then having this sort of mark be its own thing then having like a logo type a logo type mark that's a that's a different thing right but also that i think one of the main problems is actually how brands choose to communicate what they actually want that is the part where i think intermediate to expert designers come into play and where I think they can't be replaced. I do not genuinely think AI will be able to solve the fact that people do not know what they're looking for. Because most of the times they don't, really, they don't really know what they want until you sort of give it to them. But then also delivering something that makes sense, that has alignment, that has a brand identity, that has a, a genuine problem solved to the problem that you know it came with. That is where I think you guys are absolutely safe. On the other side, the beginners, I'd be a little worried, but in my opinion, graphic designers are not beginners forever, unless you choose to ignore the fact that great graphic designers are great marketers. And with come with marketing, again, comes with that solving and uh, problem solving sort of, you know, narrative. And without that, you'll never make that leap, right? And you know what? You follow me long enough, you'll never be a beginner. How about that? And then from two years ago, mid journey, I mean, it's just endlessly better. Is it better? Yes. Can it make you a logo? Yes. Of course, you got to have, you know, Illustrator. Maybe there's some way to vectorize online. But having Illustrator, using an image trace, you know, combining your iconography or or your mascot type of logo with you know typography takes skill on some front. So one, I would say it's endlessly, obviously better. Two years later, I'd be really curious what it looks like two years from now. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Sesso HQ out. Now don't forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking credit, guys. Little much love, peace. You also know what? The way you can instantly skip beginner, everything back. First in the description, as always. I'll see you guys later. Peace.